All right. So let's look at this one again. Convert to meaningful units. All right. Well, the 21 parts per 100 is already a meaningful unit. We saw that when we tried to conceptualize it. It's the same as 21%. And I have a good um, vision of what that is. I didn't have to break up my oxygen to, um, into parts to, to recognize that. But this 0.4 parts per million, again, if I went ahead and drew a beaker with a million parts in it, and then I got down to trying to, to, to demonstrate what is 0.4 uh, part of an ozone, it's, 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 um, it's going to be difficult. So it's actually better to present this um, concentration in units of parts per billion. Okay, so how can I convert 0.4 parts per million to... Uh, units of parts per billion. All right, I can remember the definition that one, or the equality, one part per million is the same as 1,000 parts per billion. All right, because one over a million equals 1,000 over a billion. Um, so what I can do is just start with what's given, the unit of 0.4 parts per million, and convert to the unit that I want, which is parts per billion, using this, um, expressed as a unit factor. All right, so I'm going to start with what's given, 0.4 parts per million. All right, and I'm going to multiply it. Let me see, I want the parts per million to cancel, so I'm going to make my unit factor to be 1,000 parts per billion over one part per million. 1,000 parts per billion over one part per million. The part per million unit cancels, and that ends up 0.4 times 1,000 is 400 parts per billion. All right? All right. Let's see here. Okay. Um, what about um, the, the 30 parts per billion? That's a nice uh, representation of the... Um, of the, of the sulfur dioxide concentration. What about this 0.04% carbon dioxide? Can we do better there? Um, let's see here. Let's continue working on this. It'd be better to pre present the 0.04, uh, excuse me, um, 0.04% um, carbon dioxide in, in units of um, what? What do you think? Parts per million. That would be better. All right, so how do we express this in units of parts per million? All right, well, you can go back to your um, conversion factor um, by looking at the equality. One part per 100 was equal to 10,000 parts per million. And just like we did in the previous example, set up a unit factor, multiply by the um, uh, 0.04. In this case, we would call it parts per 100. All right, um, and then you could, uh, you'll get your answer of, um, well, why don't you try it on your own? And the answer that you should get is, let's see here, um, let's see, 400 parts per million is what you should get doing it that way. 400 parts per million, try it on your own. That's the answer you should get. All right. Um, Another way to do it, I wanted to show you the other way, the, um, the um, ratio. Um, the ratio is, you know, parts per 100. In this case, it's 0.04 parts per 100 is equal to the same thing as how many parts per million. Okay, I don't know how many parts per million. That's what I'm looking at. So I'd put my X there. All right. And since it's a, the ratio should be the same, I can cross multiply and um, solve for x. So that's a basic algebraic approach. And in this case, x is also going to equal 400 parts per million. Okay?